Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 2 of season 2 of Cosmic SMP. Where last time we found the area that we want to build our base in, which is here. Built an AFK fish farm, started a stable, and that's kind of it. Off camera, I did a bit of mining, got some diamonds, got some iron, and I did up the fish farm. So now it doesn't look absolutely atrocious. So it looks atrocious, but not as much atrocity. I also used it and I got a stick, and I'm so glad. So unbelievably bad. So anyway, today I want to start building our base because I've already spoken kind of about my big plans for this. My plans for this base is what I want to do is I'm going to fill this up so that's too thick. Then I'm going to make water flowing down. And then I'm going to take some of this wood, build walkways around so it's still a pond everywhere, but now you can walk along the sides of it and have that as a base and you can go inside the mountain there. And for over here, I want to actually do cover this entire thing up, if that makes any sense. So, I'm also going to leave this tree because it's going to be useful in the future. Just do wait. Uh, so, let's take our dirt and let's start. So, my plan for covering this up is it to literally. I want to kind of make it look natural so it doesn't look like somebody just covered it up. But I also don't want this to take 17 years. So this is kind of just going to be a wall, if that makes any sense. And then we use this tree as a way out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to cover it up to this point. Like that. And then basically this goes all the way up. Oh, let's get rid of you, because you're just going to be annoying, aren't you? Also, I got my first death, so I set my spawn point now. I had to run back. That was very, very stressful indeed. Um, so last time I actually said, I don't want this episode to be too short, but I'm sorry, I have to end it here. It was actually longer than my average episode. So that was crazy to think about. Um, yeah, I think I really don't know why I'm still talking, because I have my plan for this so far. It's basically, I've never terraformed before. This will be my first ever time. I'm doing a lot of firsts this week. My first ever draft league. First ever time terraforming. Maybe this will actually be enough to just cover up this whole thing here. Look at that pig. Um, also, I've got my farms beginning to look like they actually do something. Which is very, very fun indeed. And this is going... Far faster than I thought it was. I'm not going to lie. Look how quickly this is going. I am obnoxiously proud. So, if we can also just do it but like. It may get slightly more natural because now it just kind of looks like stairs up here. It, I said I wanted to make it look more natural, but. This isn't looking natural in the slightest. This is looking a bit better. I'm so used to doing very big projects, I'm not used to it working out and being done quickly. But we also need to light this area up underneath here, because that was a lot of our light source down. We do not want monsters everywhere. Speaking of monsters, I haven't actually seen any for a while. And what the blue? Heck, what's that? So I'm going to do that and then kind of just build this as a wall. Nope. Meant to change hands there. And Mr. Horse is on! I have caps lock on. He just thinks I'm very excited. And, oh, can I pick this up please? Thank you. So yeah, this is looking good, and then what I want to do is add a way to just go like this and kind of use this this thing as an escape route. And I think that's it for that wall. So I'm going to cut here because I've already spent far too much time talking. I will gather some more dirt, fill in this, and then we can get to a little bit of work. I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back, and as you can see, we've built a little waterfall area. And we have our bridge, which is nice and awesome. I'm very, very happy with this. 
We also have Pepe the Frog who is currently screaming, which is cool. So, and I don't know if I, I think I already showed you guys this because I have a vague memory. But yeah, this looks different now. I think I actually did show you that. Anywho, so the next part plan for today is to kind of build a. I don't want to use the words dock because those aren't the right words, but a dock. Wait. So anyway, um, what we need to do first is get a shovel, and then we kind of want to just move all of this stuff. So we do have a shovel. Actually, it's nearly broken, so we should probably make a new one. That's the wrong item for shovel maintenance. That is the correct one for shovel maintenance, however. So what I want to do is kind of get rid of all this dirt that goes up to two blocks and cover it in okay is this pickaxe gonna make it is it wow it actually did impressive so i need to cover go through all of this get out all the stuff and then replace it all with wood and yes that ladder is oh that ladder is oh god we're not getting that one back So, I just want to talk about what my plans are for this season. It's a three month season at the minimum. Now, I've done, this isn't my first SMP, this was, actually season one was my first SMP. But, oh, okay. Okay, but, um, okay, so let me just, yeah, all of this goes. That goes well, that's fine. Good, and then out here we'll cover the rest of it up. So, that looks good. And yeah, so I will go ahead and finish doing all of this, and then I will get back to you guys. Okay, see you later. Okay guys, I am back and I think I've finished most of this. As you can see, I have made kind of a walkway to go this way, and that's pretty much what we really needed. I think I can kind of call this big top base bit done. So we still have work to do though, we are by no means in the clear when it comes to work. Um, let's grab a carpet paper out of that. We have a lot to do left, but now that I have a base, we actually have a place that we can safely run into to sleep at night, provided no mobs know how to walk along a bridge. Yay. Anyway, I'm out looking for spooders, because we need the spooders to use our AFK fish farm. Because they are the only way to get string. So, Spooders, way to Spooders. Oh, geez. So, 1.14, great version, introduced stuff like pillages. I just really want more breeds of dog in Minecraft, I'm not gonna lie. But,. It has a lot of chunk loading issues, and also, for some reason, whenever I'm on here on my own, I never find any mobs. One of the people on mob spawn just fine, but it's just, when it's just me, I can't find anything else, any mobs at all, which is really, really kind of strange. But apart from that, we have other stuff that we have to do, and the first one of those is the all-important nether trip and I thought we could do that together because I'm just kidding, I'm not going to make you sit through all of that, this needs to be an exciting series don't worry, the first few episodes are just going to be me trying to get all the bare bones basic minecraft materials like the first video of almost every series I'm just trying to get No mobsters around. Um, not seeing any mobs, which is a definite plus point. No sticks in us, so that's a shame, but okay. Uh, so let's get down to our mining and hope there are no creepers. Come on now. Anyway, I'll cut here and I will come back to you when I've done this. Goodbye.
Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and made our portal, so we're going to hop into the nether for the first time this season. I'm very, very excited. Mr. Horse actually announced on the Discord server that he is building a... Oh, planning a end event where we all go to the end together. So we're going to leave off all this valuable stuff. And I think this is all we really need to go there. Right? Yeah. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? Nothing, hopefully. Probably something. And then once I go to the nether, I will see if I can talk to Mr. Horse about getting those things to work. So this is anyway the inside of our cave. I've built a nether portal here, and let's go to the nether. I wonder what we can do. Please do not spawn over lava. Please do not spawn over lava. It's never happened to me yet, but first time for everything. Oh, you're kidding me. Please don't be aggro blaze, I swear, God. Of course, we've got an aggro blaze to start out with. That is how I love spending my weekends. But this does mean that we were lucky enough. Now, we need to find out where that thing came from. There. That's exactly where it came from. And looks like we got ourselves some wither skellies. So let's be very careful about this fight. No! How are they so dumb? Eat. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad, this is bad, because that can kill us. Um... Ah, did he really hit us again? Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, quick, 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 go back to Earth. Are we gonna make it? This is intense. Oh! Oh, it ended! Oh my gosh, I survived that. And we've got a blaze sword and a bone. That is pretty sweet. Um... So that is a very scary nether spawn, but it is also a very good one because this means that we can make ourselves a blaze farm. So that will be some that's a far distant plan though. We're not gonna be doing that for a little while. Anyway, let's check to see how our farm is doing. Our sugarcane farm is starting to grow. And I'm kind of planning out our village. Here. Oh, I did not mean to. Okay, so I want sugarcane growing everywhere along this bank. I want to be able to run and just get stacks upon stacks of the stuff. And I also don't want any of these holes in the ground. There's a lot of things that I want to get done relatively soon. But I can get, we're off to a really good start. We've got ourselves a base. We've got ourselves a farm, which will expand as I take out this, cover in this. And I want to make this going all the way this way. The horse stables. I have a bunch of horse stables for when we can ever find ourselves what we need. And that will be just the beginning, because then I also want to build a big storage unit somewhere. There's a lot of things I want done this season. And also, Cosmic has managed to reunite my love for Minecraft, so Odious Plastic World should be coming back relatively soon. I'm not sure when though. So what to do now? Um let's get out of there. Truth cold. I'm just curious. Oh my gosh, we can make a brewing stand. I've never made one of these before. So you need nether wart for this, don't you? Okay, um, do we have any spare iron or did we use all it? We used all it. Darn. So I'm probably going to need to go mining. Aren't I? Okay, we're about 15 minutes through this episode. So... Oh, we should make a potion shop as well. 
we have, there's a lot of things that we want to do. I want to expand this farm area. So what I'll do next is I'll actually expand this farm area as much as I can this way and start doing that. I think now I'll be fine because then we have lots of wheat growing. Yeah, because then we've got our renewable food source and our base, which is the two most important things in Minecraft. Then we can really start doing the fun stuff, like getting a brewing stand, an enchantment table area, all that stuff. So I'll meet you guys back here in a little bit. Okay guys, now as you can see, I have finished up the farm. I just need to get seeds and then that farm should be ready to go. And I've built the walls. I've done the math and we should be able to have one, two, three, four, five, six pens. I haven't done the math, I lied. But six pens will be really good, that's six horses here. And we can, of course, have the horses breeding and then deliver the horses to where our shop will be located back at spawn. So we've gone a lot done today. We've built a base, we went to the nether, we've built our bridge, we've got our farm, sugarcane. So this is like, I haven't done anything sugarcane farming. It's already started growing really nicely, which is awesome. So we have a lot to do though, still before we can move on to the horse shop or anything like that because we still need to build out all of these and yeah I've also as you can see I've got rid of the lake and I should probably get rid of this one as well shouldn't I because it's just going to be annoying me that can stay is there any other lakes here that I need to get rid of that's one there this one and I think it's just those two. So I can get rid of both of those will be good. Yeah, because it's the end of our area that we're trying to use. And, oh, this cow has been trapped perfectly to build a farm. Okay, that's weird. So I'm learning a lot, but at least we now have our supply of food going. Next, I guess, on the list of things to do is fill in that pond, like I was just saying. I'm very sorry I got distracted there. Once we fill in this and the other one, I think I'll probably end this episode here. Then I can do some off camera work. Till next week, which is then I will begin the next episode. I'm very sorry for distracted here. I'm trying to make this as lively as an entertaining commentary as possible. But of course there's always multiple things to be doing in my life. I can actually just focus in the right action no, we're gonna run out of dirt, aren't we? Because this is more than twelve dirt here. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six dirt. We've got to have six dirt just sitting around in our base, right? Right? We've done a lot of dirt stuff so far. I also want to build that into a secret escape patch. And, ah, oh, yes, this is, oh, this is perfect. Okay, let's end off this episode by just cleaning in those two, filling in those two holes. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, I don't know what that even was. Minecraft's a scary game when you're playing alone. I mean, you get noise like that, you get random noise of just minecarts traveling when there's no minecarts on the server yet. Crazy world out there, guys. Crazy, crazy world. Um, Also, one thing I want to figure out is how if I if I can just be in normal survival mode and still make myself a uh -oh, the dog's barking. Let's hope that she's not going to do that too much. Is how to make glass. I mean, not glass. What's the um, gravity affected blocks such as sand or gravel? Why did I even need to say such as the only gravity affected blocks in the game? But I wonder how to make them floating. 
so then I could build some traps or something for people. So someone could come into my base trying to steal something or whatever. Actually, this the horse made it very clear in the rules. There is no stealing allowed on Cosmic SMP. That is very illegal. And boom, Shabutsky. And because we're here already, let's fill in. Actually, do we want to fill in this? Yeah, let's fill in this hole right now. Because it's just gonna bug me. We want as many things to be level as possible, so. Tiny depths in the land like this. I do not think they are not on my favourite things in the world list. So I also find out that Plants vs Zombies 10th anniversary is coming up. So with all the things going down, like um, we have so many series, so I'm not going to go straight away into that. But I want to do a Plants vs Zombies Let's Play, it's one of my favourite games ever. And I just bought it on Steam, because it is a it's a timeless game. An absolute classic. And okay, there's something here. Okay, now I'm just addicted to filling in those annoying little holes. Boom. Okay, there's another one there, but I'm not going to deal with that one right now. So I think that should be enough for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. We got a lot of work done. I'm very, very happy with that. So I'm going to AFK here and hope that nothing bad happens. So I'm going to see you all in the next episode. I hope you all have a great day and ODF out. Goodbye.